Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Metcon Burn Workout. This is day six of your Metcon Challenge. This is also a great standalone workout that you could do at any time. I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your level. We'll be working with our dumbbells today. If you have a couple of options of weights, keep them close by. Otherwise, just use what you've got. We're gonna get our heart pumping and our muscles burning, and we're gonna have a great time. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start just moving your body. We're gonna get a quick, dynamic warm up. Go ahead and roll those shoulders. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short so we can keep this workout short. So, of course, make sure that you get more of a warm up on your own if you need it. Some people do, some people don't. Go by how you feel. You can always check out my extended warm up and extended cool down videos. Always a good idea to get some movement. The main thing we wanna do is get our body's core temperature up, loosen up those joints, those muscles, get the blood flowing in ways that get us ready to move. Getting that energy up, right? Big stretch through here, crossing those arms over and under. Let's add a little weight shift to it, right? Right through here. And then we're gonna take it up. So today we are doing dumbbell Metcon burn. We are not gonna be working in full circuits. Let's take it up, big Y, and then reach it behind. Take it up and then reach it behind. Instead of timed intervals and circuits, we're just gonna keep it going, keep you guessing, but everything is gonna build on the thing before. So you will have lots of different options to stay back to basics, to add on. You do what you need for you. Let's squat it down and roll through that hip. I'm gonna remind you a lot today. Be where you are today. I say that all the time. That means this is your workout. You do you. Work in a level that is challenging for you, but doable, accessible for you, right? You don't have to do the same thing as me or anybody else. As long as you are moving safely and effectively, that is all that matters. You do you, it's your workout. Let's take it to a little hinge right here. We're gonna reach those hands down. We're gonna bring it up, pull back. Hinge, reach, drive those hips to the back. So it's not a squat, it's a little bend, but flat back and reach. Take it down and reach. If you can, hands right on top of the legs, roll through, cat, cow. Just kind of moving through that spine. And then we're gonna walk it back. So if you need to, you can keep it upright. Otherwise, hands down, walk back to that high plank, walk out nice and wide, and stand it up all the way through. If that's not right for you, you can just tap it back, or here, open up the hips. But if you can, we wanna get down to that plank so we get that core warmed up and ready to go. Take it here. Yes. How about one more? And breathe. Let's take it back and hold that plank. If you need to drop to the knees, you can. We're gonna tap those knees across. Just right through here. You can add a little rotation with it, right? Add a rotation. We got one more. And breathe. Walk those hands back and let's slowly roll it up right here. Tap and reach across. All right, so we're gonna get going with our Metcon burn. So what is Metcon? Metabolic conditioning, metabolic resistance training, using our weights today to keep our heart rate up, right? It's essentially what we do in all of our workouts here, most of our workouts, but we're gonna get strength and cardio together. We're gonna get that muscle burn, but we're gonna get that metabolic burn. So my favorite ways to work out, of course, within that, I'm gonna give you options. So if you feel like your heart rate's getting up a little too high, you take it back down. If you feel like you need a little extra, I'm gonna give you those options as well. Little stretch through here. We're gonna start with a heavier set of dumbbells. So medium to heavy. I'm gonna go with my 15s. I'm gonna grab a sip of water here. If you wanna take a little water to start out. And we're starting heavy. 
so here we go. We are going to start with a regular lunge. We'll start alternating, then we're gonna isolate one side. Then we will add on from there. So we're starting with a reverse lunge. If you need to modify, you can just tap it back, but heavy weights if you can. Zip up that core, shoulders back, alternate, reverse lunge. Drop it down, drive it up. Stepping back about hip distance apart. We often say train tracks, right? Right through here and down. Alternating again, you do you. If you need to modify, you can just do a little tap back, but keep the upper body pulled back, chest open, work through that front heel. Let's go four and up. Let's go three, two. Last one like this. I want you to take it just one side. So I'm going right foot forward, left foot back. We're gonna lunge it down, we're gonna drive it up. Keep it here. Lunge it down and drive it up. Slow and controlled and breathe. Let's add on a little row. So we're gonna lunge from here, hinge, row, come up out of it. So one little extra step. Lunge, drop it low, hinge, row, step out of it. Lunge. Hinge forward, flat back row, everything up, right? Good burn. Four more like that. Lunge, hinge, row, and up. Take it down. And up right here. One more. I want you to hold it here. We've got eight, stay low, seven. If it feels like too much, drop that knee, but keep that chest forward. But if you can, stay here. Four, three, two, one. Step it up, eight. Back to your regular lunge, you can do it. Seven, I know, Woo. Six, breathe, burn, five. There's that heart rate, do you feel? that metabolic conditioning, three, and that burn, two, one. Ha. Set those weights down, Woo. breathe. Shake it out right here, little taps. So that's what we're looking at, team. We start back to basics, then we add on. I know, I feel it in that heart rate too. Especially if you're going heavy, again, try to go with those heavies. If you can, we're gonna take it with the back. We're not going over the head. We're gonna go lunge. So alternating, we'll switch, we'll isolate left leg forward, right leg back. We'll add that little hinge and row. If you wanna go a little wider with it, this time you can. We'll hold the row, we'll tap it in for the lunge. You know what to expect, it's gonna go by fast. What we love about these flows is they do go by fast. I know you wanna watch that clock, but just listen to my cues. You got this. Let's bring it here. In three, two, one. Alternate your lunge. Take it back, whew. Doesn't feel fair to that right leg, right? Because we just worked so hard, whew. And breathe. Take it here and up. Four more right here, slow and controlled. Four, and breathe, three, two, and one. All right, left leg forward, right leg back, or switch, whichever you're doing. We got eight singles. Breathe, down, core engaged. Yes, you can. Four, yes, three, two, one more. Let's add that little hinge and row. So lunge it down, hinge it forward. Row a little wider if you can, all the way up. Take it down, hinge it forward. Row, all the way up. Down, so sneak in on a little low deadlift, right? Core engaged. And up, four more, take it down, hinge it. And 
and up. Three. Wide. And up. You got two. Yes. All the way through. Last one. Hold it here. Here we go. If you need to drop that knee down, you can. You got eight right here. Seven. Six. Woo, burn. Five. I know I feel it too. Four. Stay low. Woo. Three. Balance. Two. One. All the way up. Here we go. Just eight. Bring it up. Seven. If you need to adjust your grip on those dumbbells, sometimes it helps me to hold them down. Or take your body weight, but finish it out. You can do it. Four more. Four. Drive up and through. Three. Yes. Two. One. And relax. Catch your breath, team. Set those weights down. Bend your knees. Whew. Look at that. We are getting through this workout fast. How about a little break on the mat? Why not? Here we go. Let's take it down. So medium to heavy or more medium. I'm gonna go with my tens here. We're gonna start with a press. We're gonna switch up our angles. We're gonna turn them in. We're gonna add some core as we go. So bring it down. Big upper body pull just now. Now big upper body push. Let's start right here. How about my little favorite combo? Press and bridge to stretch out those hip flexors. Why not? After all of that, let's start low in three, two, one. Here we go. Take it up. Bring it down. Now right here, I feel like I could go a little heavier, but we're gonna make it burn. So, start slow, very controlled. Yes, take it up and down. Breathe. You don't have to do the bridge, but you can if you want. Good. Let's turn those palms in at the top. Press, turn them in. Take them out. Turn them in. Take them out. Breathe. Breathe. Four more right here. Four. Yes. Three. Two. Good, I want you to keep them turned in. I want you to keep those hips up. Just go down and up. Close grip, hips up and down. Yes, you can. Stay lifted. All the way up. Four. Burn. Three. Two. One. We're gonna bring them together right here. I want you to lower those legs. I want you to bring them up straight up. So we're here, find that balance. If you need to switch to one heavy dumbbell, you can. But here's what we got. We're gonna push them close together. We're gonna bring the elbows in, up, little twist forward and back. Watch me one more time. Down, up, little tilt, little tilt. If that doesn't feel good for you, you just keep that close grip press. Keep those feet straight up or in tabletop. We'll add them in a minute. Here we go, down. Press, tilt towards you, tilt away, right here. Press up towards your forehead, not really towards your knees, right? Take it out and in. You can add a little leg push out and here. Four more, take it up, I know, breathe. Small movement with that upper body, but you can do it. Two more. Out, then press everything up. Keep it controlled. Down and up. Hold those arms halfway down. Hold those legs halfway out. If that's not right for you, you take it up in the bridge. But if you can here, bring your elbows down and up. Watch me, it's a burn. But you can do it, keep those legs out. I know. Press those weights towards each other and then just bring your elbows down and up. Two, one, rest them down. <laughs> I know, team. Big stretch over your head. Extend that leg out. 
Watch me here. I want you to reach one leg, big stretch, reach. I'm gonna give you an option in a second, but I want that upper body mobility while you get that core. You can keep it right here or lift that opposite knee for four and breathe. Three, deep core, pull everything in. Switch your legs, so other leg on the ground, big reach over. Right here, you got four. Just leg lift and pull over, no weight. Those arms need a stretch. Two, here, if you want, this leg up. Four, lift, three, two, yes, one. Hands here, slow bicycle, twist and hold twist and hold. If that's not right for you, just bring those knees up or take it in a bridge. Twist and hold. Rotate through. Core is initiating the movement. Four more right here. You got four. I know. Three, two, one. Hug them in. How do we feel, team? Woo! <laughs> Burn. Take your time coming up. I know, I feel that too. Whew. Breathe, quick sip right through here. I know. Whew. All right, team, so medium weights, medium, all right? We're taking it with a dead lift, <sighs> right? So I want you to go slightly lighter than what you would do on a deadlift because of course, we're gonna add on, right? I'm gonna give you some options to make it more challenging. But remember, we already got that little hinge. We got a bridge, we're getting it done. Shoulders back, watch me right here. We're gonna start with that just little deadlift. Then we're gonna add a bicep curl. Then we'll add a squat, then we'll add a press. Super basic complex, but gonna get the heart pumping. So start slow, start a little lighter than you normally would. Zip up that core, shoulders back. Here we go, just your deadlift. Right down the front and bring it up. Remember that hinge. Drive the hips to the back, right? Soft bend in the knees, but it's not a squat. We're here. And breathe. Take it here. And up. As if you're trying to shut the car door. Push those hips to the back. Keep those shoulders pulled back. Nice flat back. And breathe. Two more. And up. All right, we're gonna keep all of that nice, slow, and controlled. Hinge, bring it up, bicep curl, take it down. Hinge, bring it up, bicep curl, take it down. Take it here, and up. Yes, you can. Breathe. Four more, four. And up, three, and up, two, shoulders back, last one. All right, we're gonna add a squat at the top. Watch me one time. You're going hinge, curl, squat. And here, we got four, then we add that press. Then we'll take the hinge away. I know that's a lot of hinging. So just hang with me. Hinge, curl, squat. Here we go. Take it down, bring it up, curl. Drop it low, whoo, not yet, right? Hinge, and here, and up. Two more, one more, and if you are comfortable, you can make it more of a clean. It's totally up to you. Let's add a press if you want. Four more at the hinge. Squat and press back down. Feels like a bonus move, right? You can take it to a clean and a press if that feels good for you. Or you can just keep it with a curl. All right, let's take the hinge away. Let's just go curl, squat, and press. So curl, squat, 
and press. Yes, you can. Or clean. Squat and press. I know, there's that heart rate. So what we're getting, muscle endurance, right? That burn comes not from going as heavy as we can, like we might in a back to basics. It comes from the repetition, right? Three. Yes. Two. Last one. Can we break it down? Rack them here. Sit for eight. Bring it up. Yes, you can. Slow and controlled. Seven. Six. I know I feel it too. Five. Whew. Breathe four. Ha. Three. Two. If you can, I want you to hold it down. Curl eight. If you're not feeling that, you just curl at the top, right? You can be here. Hammer curl. Stay low. Four, weight in the heels. Core engaged. Yes, you can. Ha! Bring it up, let's alternate. Eight, whew, seven, I know, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set them down carefully. How do we feel, team? I know. I feel that too. There is that heart rate. Whew. Long sets. Muscle endurance. Getting it done. Making it work. Whew. Right? How oh, those arms feeling? Mine are tired. All right, team. Whoo! Let's take it down to that plank position. We are almost done. Little stretch right through here. Whoo, right? All right, let's take it right through here. On your elbows to start. Then we'll add bringing it up. I want you to have one medium to have your kettlebell or kettlebell, dumbbell close by. But let's start here. If you need to keep a knee down, you can just tap it back right through here. There's your modification. Or take it plank on the wall or standing. Lift up in that core, hold it right here. So plank checklist, lock out those quads and glutes so you're tight in the legs, tight in the glutes. Little tilt to the pelvis. Imagine that there's magnets on your hip bones bringing them together but not turning those knees in, right? That there's a little button at the top of your rib cage buttoning that in and then navel to spine. Everything is in tight right through here. I want you to drop to the knees. I want you to reach up. Bring it up. Watch me again if you need to. Drop to the knees. Reach. And up. Take it down. Reach. And up. Down. Reach. Try it with me if you want. Drop those knees. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Center. Bring it up. Drop the knees. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Harder than it looks, right? Knees. And up. Four more. We got four. And breathe. Three. Yes. Two. One more. I forgot which leg. There we go. Hold the knees up. Side dip. Seven. Drop those hips. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, stretch it back. Yes, core. You got a team right through here. Ha, I know. Breathe into it, ha. All right, let's go one dumbbell, right? One heavy. I want you to take it right here. Watch me, we're gonna sit back. We're gonna sit, curl, press. So you can probably go a little bit heavier. It's a little kneeling squat. If that doesn't feel right for you, I just want you to take it to a standing or a seated curl and press. But we're going back, drive it up, curl and press. Sit back, up, right here. Down, up, and breathe. 
sit, four more. Super easy, right? I know, somebody's gonna comment on that. Now, Amy, up, making sure you're not arching here, here. Down, drive up through the hips. One more. Drop it down right here. Take it here. Take that opposite leg back, right through here, opposite leg, opposite arm. We're going up and down. Squeeze, breathe. So opposite arm, opposite leg. So it's like a little bird dog, but you're gonna keep that knee down. I want you to work that back. We've got four, three, two, one. Hold the toe down, little lift, bring it up. Little lift, bring it up. Knee elevator, one hand on the dumbbell, one hand right through here. Lift with that core. Right here, row and leg, lift and knee. Row and leg, lift and knee. And up. Four more right here. Four. And lift. Three. Two. One more. Hold it here onto your side team. Ha! I know, I feel it too. Side plank, whatever side you were doing the row on, turn to that side plank, right? So opening up, my right hand's going up top, my right hand did the row, so you can remember which one. We're gonna come up in that side plank. Join me here. We are almost done. So hold it here to start. Keep breathing. Little sequence here. Take it down and up. You can use that knee if you need to. And breathe. Ha. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Good. Reach it under. Down. And up. Use that knee if you need to. I know. Almost there. Little twist. We got four. Stay center. Pull it in. Three, two, one. Relax, swing those legs around. Other side, right? So move that weight, because when we go to that row, we're gonna be here. Starting lifting in that side plank. Here we go. Hold it up, remember if you need that knee, drop that knee, reach it up, pull everything zipped up. Here we go, down and up. We got eight and eight or at your own pace if you're half time, or if you're a little faster, as long as you have good range of motion, let's get it done. Down and up. Two. Reach it under, right through here. Reach. Remember, knee is totally fine. If you're not twisting that much, you can just do the reach. Think about shoulder mobility, but if you want to turn into it, you're here. Four. Three. Two, one, relax. Yes, team, turn into it here, I know. I tricked you thinking we're down, being down on the mat. We're here, so remember, we're gonna go row and leg lift. If you wanna keep them separate and you wanna keep that leg down, you can. Then we're gonna add the little lift here with the knee off the ground. Then we go row and leg and knee. So join me here, straight line, here we go. Bring it up and down. So yes, you have less range of motion than if you were doing the row from that standing position, right? So if you want, you can also just keep it body weight, lifting, I want you to squeeze in the glutes. We're getting all down through the back of the body. That's why we love this move, right? Two more. Hold it right here. Little lift, knee up. If that is not right for you, you just keep doing the leg lift. But if you can, little elevator, lift. Use your core to lift. Try not to push that back toe. Here, here we go. Row and leg lift, elevator. 
Row and leg lift. Knee lift. Woo! Breathe. So close. Don't think, don't forget about what your entire back is doing. So really squeeze in the shoulder blades, squeeze in the glutes. Two more. And breathe. And up. And relax. Stretch it back right through here. Ah, yes, team. Hopefully you were feeling that all the way through. I know I am. Quick sip. Guess what, team? I think we did it, but I think we got time for a bonus move. Why not? Let's keep it moving. And let's take it one dumbbell, team. One medium dumbbell. 30 seconds each side. We're gonna take it into a curtsy. We're gonna curl. We're gonna side lunge. We're gonna press, all right? So we're getting all in. Curtsy curl, rack side lunge and press. 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. If you don't wanna get all that in, pick one. Just curtsy and curl or side lunge and press. 30 on the right, 30 on the left. Let's get it done and be done with this workout. In three, two, one. Here we go. Curtsy, curl, side lunge, press. Take it down, curl. If that's not feeling good for you, again, just pick one. Take it body weight or take it between two hands. Nothing to say you can't be here. Here and up, 10 seconds. Sit and up. Breathe, yes, you can. Switch sides, here we go. Dig it down, up, and press all the way through. Controlled, and up, yes you can. Up, high, down, three, two, and one. Catch your breath, team. Shake it out. Oh man, Whew. not as crazy as a bonus move, right? I think we got enough in throughout this entire workout. If you wanna add a little mountain climber, if that's what you're feeling today, go for it. But thank you, team, for showing up with me today. Let's get a nice big stretch, hamstring right through here. So, as you can tell, we went long muscle endurance set. We had some burns. We had some things that were burning just by the duration, right? Remember, there are many ways to increase your volume, increase that progressive overload, get that progressive overload that we want. You don't always have to be going heavier. You don't always have to be going faster, right? Sometimes you can even be going slower and you are still gonna get that. So remember that, trying to mix up a lot of different things in this Metcon challenge, and like I try to do in your workouts anyway, sometimes we're getting our heart pumping through weights because we're going as heavy as you've got, sometimes we're getting it because we're going compound movements, and sometimes, whew, we're getting it just because your body is feeling it in every which way. Ha! Huh. I feel like some of those other moves throughout the workout made that bonus move not feel as bad. <laughs> Usually the bonus move, we're tired, and that's the one that we're like, oh my goodness. But whew, to me, it felt less severe <laughs> than some of those other ones. Leave me a comment, let me know, did you like this workout? If you can get that foot up, grab it. Otherwise, just tilt that hip forward, hip flexor, fingertips to the back if you have a wall ticket here. Tilt everything here, core engaged, all the way through. through here. Leave me a comment. Let me know how did you feel with this workout? Were you challenged? Would you prefer intervals? That's okay. A lot more of that coming. Did you feel your heart rate? Did you feel your muscles? I hope all of it. We try to get the tougher stuff in those first couple circuits, but 
I know I'm feeling it all the way through. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video when you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me be able to keep making these workouts for you. Also check out the Body Fit by Amy app. If you're looking for that extra support and accountability, we'd love to have you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club that is located on the app. That's where you get an amazing community. You get access to me, to Vivian, our Body Fit dietitian, and live streams, Q and A's, so much more nutrition plan. And download the app anyway, because there's lots of freebies for everybody as well. Check out all the other links in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for being here and subscribing to my channel. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell Metcon burn workout. Great job, everybody.